Serie A and be on the fringe of going out of the European Champions competition. But of course, the, they see this as a preparation, Milan, for the big one against uh, Cassina Salzburg on December the 7th, when if they win that game, they will continue in the Champions Cup, and who can tell what will happen? Velez are second in uh, their league at the moment, the point behind River, and all they want to do is get a result here and then build the rest of the season around that. So there's a lot at stake for all the players, for Savicevic, who played here before, of course, with Red Star Belgrade and was sent off after having a, a dominating 42 minutes. A big gamble to play him here after he's short of match practice and certainly not 100% fit. And the plan against an Argentine side, they, they'll know this, and uh, to say they'll pay attention to him uh, is uh, understating the situation. Chilevert, great character. Pompey, young guy whose penalty put Velez into this exalted company. Very little wind here tonight. Pleasant playing conditions, adequate watching conditions. The pitch a little bit uh, pockmarked, but of course these days it's well used here in the National Stadium for soccer, whereas uh, in the bad old days this uh, Toyota Cup was a rare soccer event in Japan. Now, of course, not only is uh, soccer well played here, but uh, they're going to have a big game tomorrow night when the J-League is decided. The referee is from Colombia, Jose Torres, and the linesman from Korea and from Japan. Franco Baresi, who had uh, a disappointing World Cup, although, of course, they came so close, close to winning it, there is talk that he will end his career here in Japan, but that's premature thought because we now have a chance to see whether AC Milan are really great, whether they will put pressure on uh, Chilever, whether they will come out of their shell and perform as we've seen them perform here on this stage before, or whether Assad, the tank, as he likes to call himself up front, will do the trick for Vélez Sarsfield of Argentina. Different continents, different styles, different priorities. And we await now local time 7.13 before the uh, referee will blow the whistle. Chilevert signaling and waving to the Velez supporters uh, behind his goal. It's difficult to know whether those Vélez supporters actually came from uh, Argentina or whether they are Tokyo-based supporters because uh, these days in Japan, world football has a very big coverage as we await the kickoff of the 15th Toyota Cup. There's a the whistle. 15th Toyota Cup underway. AC Milan are looking for a result which will give them something to smile about in what has been so far a grim five months. Vela Sarsfield of Argentina see this as an opportunity of putting the club and the players into the world stage spotlight. Velez are hungry, Milan perhaps a little bit desperate. Pitch in fine condition. Already protests as a big free kick by Chilevert is uh, banged straight at the other goalkeeper. So Massara, who will play up front, possibly on his own for quite a bit, will try and get a bit of support from Savicevic. Well, we'll see how it works out. It's uh, Massara challenge. Massara going forward again, brought down. And, uh, free kick conceded by the number four, Almandos. And a very quick yellow card. Well, here's the challenge. Looks as if he got the ball, but the referee from Colombia not wasting time on politeness. Uh, Boban and uh, Savicevic on the ball. Desai has come up from midfield, so he's uh, a strong contender for the ball in the air to the left of that wall. Boban, Savicevic going to have a go. Well held by 
Chilavert. Well, it's encouraging, and of course also encouraging for AC Milan is the fact that Savicevic had such a good game in the European final, they've missed him in the last few weeks. There's a nice little taster there. Fabio Capello, who not only played at international level, but uh, has seen his side perform extremely well at international level, now finds that they need a little bit of touch of luck, a little bit of uh, touch of the old Milan ruthlessness to get them out of this sticky patch. Good one. Oh, it's uh, almost not past his own goalkeeper. But uh, as Massaro came in on that one, nice little cross. And uh, Vélez in some trouble. Well, Mandos putting it away. It's going to be a corner. Taken by Boban over that uh, far side. Chilavert stays on his line. Away by Armandos. Flores, a little touch, but it wasn't good enough. Maldini gives it away. Maldini again. And no chance for Massaro to get that one. Looks to be a full house now of something like 56,000. Original capacity here was 60. Reduced a little bit. Big, big kick, but no real direction on it. Sedas. Gomez knocks it back to Trotter, the captain. Mandos on the right hand side. That's uh, charged down by Massaro. So two up front for both sides. It's uh, Massaro and Savicevic for AC Milan. Maldini couldn't get a touch to that, or enough to give it uh, a throw into to uh, Belisar's field. Assad is down this right-hand side. Armandos, and they were appealing for a foul throw there. Pasuedo loses it. So does uh, Trotter. Armandos gets in there. Free kick. A bit rough and ready in midfield at the moment. Maldini puts a little culture in there. Nice ball to Massaro. Desai quickly, fiercely tackled. Desai gets it wide again to Tassotti, who's been brought into the side, surprisingly replacing uh, Panucci. Tassotti again. Boban wide on the right. Couldn't find him. Savicevic. And it's banged out by uh, Sotomayor. So no pattern yet, certainly not from uh, Vela Sarsfield, and it's the old pressing game from AC Milan that's winning them most of the possession. Little push there from uh, Sotomayor, away by Trotter, but it's something of a panic clearance, and the spin drops in front of uh, Donadoni. Support from Maldini against Almandos. Maldini almost got by him, but earns a corner. Their second. Certainly putting everything into it early on. Now Maldini. Not quite up to his normal standard. Very, very familiar territory to most of the uh, AC Milan team and the AC Milan club has just announced a very big commercial program here in Japan and uh, football coaching schools as well. Tosotti getting wide, away by Trotta. Cardozo is under pressure from Savicevic and foul by him. It's quickly to have uh, Sedas. All the way by Maldini. Sedas couldn't control it, and it's going to break to Savicevic, who puts it wide, and a difficult one for Massaro. Asualdo. 
Gomez tried to get it off him, but bad pass. Good opportunity there with uh, Savicevic down the left-hand side. Flores not able to control his header, and it's uh, Baresi knocks a nice ball forward. Massaro and Savicevic work together. There's nobody wide on the right, so he's going to have to go alone. He gets a free kick. He needed a bit of support on the right-hand side, but he didn't have it. But a free kick is uh, good enough in the circumstances. Sotomayor gets in from behind. Now Maldini. Maldini. Not a good one from Maldini. Trying to pick out Donadoni going down the left-hand side. That's a better one to Flores. Couldn't control it. Assad is playing wide on the right and uh, Basedas wide on the left. Savicevic, good skills. Nicely played by Cardoso. Flores chasing, but uh, in vain. Rossi, a rare touch so far. Sotomayor getting the ball. Cardoso away. Albertini. Difficult one for Tassotti. Flores trying to find Assad. Cut away out by Baresi. Basualdo and Cardoso and Vélez Hasfield are settling. Not a particularly good pass, and the back pass is a difficult one. Here comes Chilever. Oh, gracious me, he almost cut it out. That was risky, but he got away with it. Dangerous play by Chilever. Seen some uh, flamboyant South American goalkeepers in this uh, tournament. Chilavert is in the Higita class in many areas, although he doesn't like it when you say that uh, he's as risky and as extrovert as the Colombian. He says he's much, much safer. He takes free kicks better. Maldini and Albertini wide on the right goes uh, to Sotti. Boban, a good turn to Sotti, is still on the right-hand side. Can he get the cross in? Not a bad one. No, it's out. Nice run, though. Oldest player on the field at uh, 34. Just a little bit older than Baresi. Nice play by uh, Boban. Good position, but he was quickly closed down, and the cross came to nothing. This is a pretty confident start by AC Milan, but as we mentioned before, Capello's problem is the side can't score goals. They've only scored two goals on one occasion in uh, Serie A. In the Champions League, they've got uh, three once against uh, Salzburg. Pompey tries to get one uh, forward to Flores. That hasn't worked either. And the coach, Carlos Bianchi, is uh, a little bit anxious. Gomez, the key player in midfield, defensively. Aldini, a knock on. Massaro, nice ball to Donadoni. Savicevic is in the middle if he gets it in quickly. That's Savicevic. Not quite. Free kick on the edge of the area. But evidence already that uh, Massaro is working as hard as we expected him uh, up front for Milan. They're getting down the flanks, and uh, I think Bianchi is a bit worried about it. Chilabert looking for Assad. Somewhat clumsy challenge, which the referee penalizes. So, in the first 11 minutes, it's been Chilavert who's been busier, but not too busy. Oladoni, another good one, got another chance to start again. Maldini, Massaro, 
Nobody's running for that. Almandos down the line. Poor one, straight to Donadoni. Savicevic. Good play. And in goes Masari. He can get the cross in here. Oh, and it didn't quite run. Masaru appealing for handball, but it struck the uh, Velez player. Good move again down that flank, though, by uh, AC Milan, but it's now a free kick to Velez Hasfield of Argentina. So far, very little seen of Flores and Assad up front. They've been uh, battling Velez to get into it in midfield. Play for one hasn't uh, really had the touches gone right. It's more like it. But back they come again. Costa Curtis clearance easily picked up. Flores now going over for what looks like a corner. And the chance, the first chance, Bella Sarsfield have had to mount any sort of uh, challenge. Valmandos and Trotter up there, two big defenders. Sotomayor is also coming in. Maldini gets it away decisively. and then push up, leaving some dead ground between them and the uh, goalkeeper Rossi. Well played by Casotti. Desai had to knock it forward quickly under too much pressure. Oh, it's a back pass. What's Chilovec going to do with it? Clears it, but not particularly well. It's Masaro. There's uh, Savicevic with an opening, but the pass wasn't good enough for him. Basedas. Cardoso, the left back, swinging it nicely out here to Basualdo, the World Cup player. Hard one, hard one for Assad. No real chance at all. And it's uh, AC Milan who come away with it. Masaro almost lost it. Albertini. Baresi with Maldini out here and on the left ahead of him was Donadoni but he couldn't get it forward. Maldini's made a few mistakes but Albertini's done well there but that wasn't a good enough pass for Masaro and it breaks down. Not flowing quite as well as we have seen in the past but then that's been the continuing story for AC Milan but there's no doubt about it there's plenty of spirit and plenty of uh, attacking willingness in the side. Some of them like that, but Assad was quite fortunate that he managed to pick out a colleague with that overhead pass. Broken down already, though, as Baresi bangs it forward to Masaro, who will chase anything. Masaro's done well, Savicevic is in the middle. Forward goes Donadoni. Savicevic is in there, too. Good play, but still not managing to culminate in a strike. The save, but that's a poor one. Say that's outnumbered. Tumbles trying to get a free kick, but doesn't. Masaro, good sharp passing here. Nice play, and Donadoni's got a bit of space. He's got Boban in the middle. Savicevic coming onto the near post. It didn't reach Boban, and it should have done. Sotis up there. Boban with a chance to get a better cross in. Away by Amandos. Say with a very powerful header. Good pressure by AC Milan, but still no real direct clean strike on goalkeeper Jose Luis Chilever. Better cross than the other one, but a good clearance. While we were watching that, there was uh, half a chance for. Velez at the other end, but it's uh, Tosotti coming forward, giving it away, somewhat surprisingly. 
Bacedas, the 21-year-old who's made a mark in the full Argentine squad. Bacedas coming again, runs into trouble, and there's a bit of space here for Milan. Bonadoni. Gomez getting at him. It's a bad challenge, and in normal circumstances, that'll be a yellow card. And this is normal circumstance. Unnecessary, but... Yellow card for Gomez, and the second for Velez. And that's pretty significant in only 17 minutes of this game. Capello, the coach, has come uh, off the line of his bench to give a few instructions to his players. So far, they've done well enough at the back. It's just that final pass, the final cross, which has let them down so far. Asa. Looking for Flores. Now, can Pompey chase this and get any profit from it? Not at all. It's a throw to Milan, but in the European style, if they squeezed up on them, they might have a chance, but they don't. They give them space. And they clear easily. Foul on Sotomayor by uh, Masaro and coach Bianchi. A regular goal scorer himself in Argentina and in France with the two clubs. He's perhaps so worried about the fact that his side have not created any sort of a scoring opportunity yet. Not looked like it either. Back there to cover. It's a throw in to Vela Sarsfield. He goes Assad. Blocked by Varese. Sedas almost got through there. No pressure at the moment on uh, Cardoso, the left back. Up for Flores. Hard ball again. And uh, a push, and a free kick. The referee right on top of that one. Costa Curta was the culprit. Now we might have a chance. We've got uh, Flores and Macedas on the ball. We're just sorting out the wall. It's not exactly where the referee wants it. A lot of movement in the penalty area. It's not a bad one, and although a hand went up there from Trotter, he didn't touch it, and Flores' kick comes to nothing. So we've had 20 minutes of this game, and we've had two bookings, but no real scoring opportunities for either side. Banged away by Trotter, chased by Assad. Goalkeeper out, plenty of time. And Costa Curta with Varese work it comfortably. Still nil-nil. Savicevic did well the in on that one to Sotti. Varese almost caught. Costa Curta, the back man. Crazy out of position at the moment. Knocking it around well, the Italians. Fired away to Donadoni, that's a fine ball. Armandos gets to him very quickly. He would help off the nose, and that's a good round by Maldini. They're in here. And cleared by Trotter. Assad getting away from Desai for the moment, not for long. Rossi's got to stop this one, otherwise it'll be a corner. He does. Dangerous play, and Desai quite rightly lets it go, and they might get themselves into trouble here. Offside. Bit of discipline, followed by a bit of ill discipline by the Italians. That wasn't a smart thing for Rossi to do, to try and play himself out of trouble, but having lost possession, they moved up quickly, and played Assad offside. 
So AC Milan, uh, 14 times Italian champions, four times Italian Cup winners, but they're already out of the Italian Cup this season. Five times European champions. It all seemed to be happening for the giant that Berlusconi built. Then suddenly they've looked human in the last few months. And although this showpiece game uh, is a good opportunity for them to show what they're made of, a really decisive time is uh, in a week's time when they play in Vienna. But it's a free kick for Velez. Flores over the far side. It's not a particularly good one at all, and uh, Pompey couldn't get anywhere near it, and that's a wasted opportunity. Not for by Albertini. Savicevic couldn't get there. Trotter could. Costa Curta away. Maldini, nice little touch. And picked out almost by Gomez. Gomez again. Donadoni. Milan doing well there to put the numbers around the ball and uh, picking it up. But losing it with that long pass forward. We've seen very little of. Uh, well, he's down those flanks and down the left-hand side. Bacedas uh, did a useful job and he's won a corner. Bacedas, uh, the number seven, is very sharp in midfield. And he was quick there to get Flores into a position to knock another big one in. The second corner, Almandos is up there. Sotomayor is at the back. Basualdo moving in on it. It's a poor one in the end, but it's going to be picked up by Pompey. He's got a good left foot. That's a better one. Baresi, a good header. Basualdo miscues. Gomez. It's going to be a hard one for Assad to chase. And an obvious foul, I'd have thought, on uh, Baresi. And the referee surely must give a free kick. No? I can't believe that. Malcolm Baresi. Assad is 90 kilograms, and here's the corner already. Danger. Out goes Rossi. And this time, the referee has given a free kick against Assad, using his weight in an illegal manner. Rossi didn't like it. Nor did Baresi. It was amazing that Assad wasn't penalised when he challenged uh, Baresi in the first place. Now the Colombian referee is going to speak to El Turquito, as they call him. But he's a real heavyweight, and he flattened Baresi. But uh, the corner caused them trouble. Gets his bulk in front of the ball, and then concedes the foul. Masara knocks it on. It's away by Cardoso. But rather aimlessly. Gomez brings a little order into proceedings. Nice play. Almandos. Clearance wasn't good by Costa Curta. Cardoso, and it's a Valdez getting into the swing of things slowly. Assad going in on it. Maldini clears. Albertini. They're winning more in midfield, the Argentine side. Basualdo, nice return from Basedas. Not a good pass, though, from the former international. Savicevic lets it go. Massaro surely tackled from behind. Play on, says the Colombian referee. Massaro is down. Assad might get this one. His power gets him away with that, even against Desai. Now the squeeze is on from Belisarsfield. Flores and Pompey. Is it a free kick? It's more promising now from uh, the Argentine side as Baresi tries to calm things down a bit. For the first 10 or 15 minutes, it was uh, all AC Milan. Now, so they'd lost it a bit, is a slight exaggeration, but certainly Velez are coming into it in midfield, and even Assad is getting involved up front. Baresi, the big one forward for Massaro. Gomez is caught out 
And it's going to be dropped to Savicevic, but the flag had gone up over the far side. Savicevic just can't understand why. He complains and is booked. And this is what happened to him when he played for Red Star Belgrade here. He kept complaining. He got two uh, yellow cards and he was off. And now, unnecessarily, he's got a yellow card here, the third of the game. That was foolish. Striking an opponent, it could have been worse just because the linesman's flag was up. And uh, although Sotomayor offers him the hand of friendship and sportsmanship, it's not beyond the bounds of possibilities that uh, Savicevic will be provoked into more action because he has a short fuse. Savicevic was here as Red Star Belgrade. They won 3 0 against uh, Colo Colo of Chile, but Savicevic played in only uh, 42 minutes of that. Played brilliantly as it happened. And Red Star Belgrade went on to win it with 10 men. Maldini with a throw for Milan. Desai came to help him. Savicevic getting in there with Trotter, way by Gomez, and Basualdo. Maldini, not sure where it was going, but it didn't get there eventually. Assad gives it away to Maldini. Varese, big up and under. Varese again, Armandos again. Assad, knocking it in towards Flores. Not good enough, not deep enough. Asedas. Again, that nippiness in midfield, which is getting uh, the Argentine side into the game more, but still not creating any clear-cut chances for Assad and Flores up front. The overall score in these intercontinental clashes since it came to Tokyo in neutral venue is 9-5 to the South Americans. They did have at one stage a 5-0 lead. Uh, Juventus broke the spell. Now it's another Italian side going for a record. They've already won it twice. AC Milan have been defeated against the Sao Paulo last year. Here for the fourth time in six years. Got a Sarsfield, one of the less celebrated Argentine clubs. Bianchi sees his side. Gaining a little bit more possession in midfield. But still, nil-nil. Costa brings it down and bangs it wide to Donadoni. Beautiful control, bearing in mind that Basualdo was right on top of him. Savicevic couldn't get it uh, towards Albertini. But it's a throw-in to Milan, who... Coming back into it. And Capello exercises legs and lungs. As Basualdo comes away with it. Oh, it's a dangerous one. Cooked out by Trotter. Assad wrestling with Baresi. And that went off Maldini for a Velasasville throw. Sedas leaving it to Armandos. Easy one though for Baresi. Armandos can't get it. Savicevic can. Massaro is going down the middle. Boban comes into the middle too. That's for Boban. It's not a bad one. He's in with a chance here. Boban and he should have scored. It was a beautiful through ball. The Montenegrin for the Croatian. But he made a mess of it. What a pass that was from Savicevic. Left Velez for dead, and he should have left Chilever for dead, and that was an anxious shot if ever I saw one. Great opening, wonderful pass, and a squandered chance. Uh, 
And Zvonimir Boban knows that he really lets Savicevic down there. And it's broken here for Assad. Flores has gone into the middle. Assad knocks it back in again. Pasedas and uh, Gomez getting in the way. It's a big deep cross. It's away by Donadoni. They're really battling here, the Argentine side. They're not as big, I would have thought, physically. They're heavier in some instances. But he's a pretty big guy. For Trotter, a back pass. Chilever's got to watch out. Pretty positive clearance. Assad getting in there hard. Flores is going to get there too. Can he get the player in down the left hand side? Pompey. Oh, and Flores looked as if he was uh, offside. It looked also as if it was handball. Now, Basedas looking for the 1 2 from Flores. Deflected away for a corner. Shooting from a distance, Flores, he's been at the club since the age of nine. Coming off for Baresi for another corner for Velez, their third. And the flag's wave. Going to be taken by Pompey, the in-swinger. Goalkeeper comes and catches confidently. Good bit of judgment, confident handling. Lone chase by Savicevic. Prefers to allow Almandos to get in, and they will have the throw in. Savicevic and Donadoni, as we enjoy the color from the Velez end. That's not a bad ball for Assad against Brazi, and he's got the pace and the strength. Assad now needs support. He's got the space there. It's not a bad ball, just a little bit too strong. That was significant. The 21 year old uh, heavyweight beating the 34 year old for pace over a couple of yards. Basedas, looking more like it now, Velas Arsfield. Flores beaten there by uh, Costa Curta's leg. The side picks it up, knocks it back to Tassotti, Massaro, and uh, an easy cutout. So Baresi and company have, have been under a little bit more pressure in the last few minutes, and Baresi showing that at 34 he might have lost a little bit in pace. Just that once. Now Maldini. Amadoni. Good run, went on by Pompey, no foul. Milan keep pushing forward to Sotti, Boban. And uh, Savicevic comes to the near post. The Sotti knocks it to him, but he's been picked up there and Velas uh, Arsfield come away with it. Neatly through midfield. Assad's the only one really up in a striking position. This is a hell of a run though by Velas uh, Arsfield's strong looking uh, Flores. Also 90 kilograms. Desai just put one arm out and down he went. I think he played for that one all right. Free kick from Brazilian distance, but not an Argentine distance, I would have thought. Yes! 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 Trotter is up on the right-hand side for the deep cross. Trotter gets in here. Beaten no well by Maldini. Space for Basualdo. No space at all for Basedas. And AC Milan might have trouble getting it away. Basedas coming to it. Appeals for handball. Zavicevic loses it to Gomez. Gomez gives it away. Donadoni and knock forward. 
Desai down to Savicevic. Great control in those circumstances and almost through there for Massaro on the left-hand side, but he was offside. So it's Vela Sarsfield from the Linears district of Buenos Aires who are ending on top, if anything, in the latter stages of the first half. Pasadas has pushed forward into a semi-striking position, but Baresi, a nice ball forward, gets a return, a long raking ball for Massaro. The link-up between Savicevic and Massaro hasn't been, uh, from midfield and the back, hasn't been as good as in the first 10 minutes. But here come uh, Milan now pushing forward, Costa Curta. Bettini's been fairly quiet in the last 10 minutes, certainly. Here's Costa Curta. Keeping possession patiently enough, but now Donadoni's got to do something, and he has. Away by Trotta. Maldini holds off Assad. That's a feat in itself. Costa Curta quickly to Baresi. Maldini. Donadoni. Can they get it into the striking area? Desai's got a bit of space. Finds Tassotti well. Bourbon's got into the middle. He is... What on earth was that? And now there's possibility of a break, but Boban clears it up before Sevicevic is blocked down that right-hand flank. The throw-in for Milan. Go. A little bit more than five minutes left in this first half. And I wonder how much of the game he's actually going to play. Savicevic out for two months with a series of leg injuries. But he's looked sharp enough here. And he's going to take the kick. Maldini and Desai and Massaro up over the far side. Should have had on the near post in case he swings a direct shot in with his good left foot. It's a good one, and Chilever comes out very confidently. Good catching. Chilever's uh, role, he reckons, in uh, difficult positions for Velez is to talk a good fight out there, and he enjoys, he says, trying to put opponents off by shouting at them and uh, making them concentrate on other things apart from the old ball game. Baresi bangs it away. Good turn by Basualdo. Still nil-nil with five minutes of the first half left. Velez coming forward. He hasn't really got the passion of last year's game, but I think a goal would open it up. Basualdo gets one in. It's a good one. And it's Pompey to Basedas. Basedas, Pompey on the left-hand side. Can he get it back in again? Pompey once more, outnumbered. But uh, Basedas is there to help him. Basedas has done well, and they get a corner from it. When that cross came in originally, it looked like a good chance there for Vela Sarsfield. But uh, to be fair to Milan, they defended well and kept Basedas and Pompey out wide. But they've conceded another corner, going to be taken by Flores. Once more, Trotter is making a move in there. Basedas in on the near post. And it's knocked out for a goal kick. El Torquito, they call Assad, uh, but in fact his lineage is Syrian. His grandfather was from Syria. Leading scorer in the Libertadores championship and uh, liber uh, leading scorer in the Argentine League Championship for Velez. Savicevic running into trouble. No real danger here. Almost. He, gave, he almost gave it to Flores. That's a bad one, but they win it back again for a second only. A fine ball from Basualdo to Assad. 
Flores has gone into the middle, but again, he's outnumbered. And stubbed, I think, his toe on the ground, and the cross came to nothing. There's a little bit more of an open game. An oversimplification is that Velez aren't quite good enough to create clear opening chances, and AC Milan have lost a little bit of their positive attitude that they had in the first 10 or 15 minutes. Tassai and uh, Tassotti. Savicevic, Boban, trying to knock it into the path of Savicevic. Maldini, good flowing header. Not a particularly good back header, though. Baresi clears under pressure from Assad. Massaro wins well. Boban. Bad pass by uh, Pompey. Tassotti knocks one forward. A bit untidy. Very untidy, in fact. And muted applause from around the ground. Not the passion of a J League game here. And the neutral audience definitely wants something uh, to give them something to shout about. Now, Pompey. Looking for Assad, cut out by Baresi. Good interception. Albertini, quiet in midfield after a lively start. Nice ball. This is Flores. He's got a bit of space. Pompey comes in there to win and win a free kick of Albertini. And Albertini protests and he's booked. So that's four yellow cards we've had. Well, I don't know, the first challenge was fair, the second wasn't. Pointless protesting. And is that the sign of the times for AC Milan? Well, it's shooting distance, whether it's scoring distance, I don't know. But also, the number three has got a strong left foot. Flores, a strong right foot. Here goes Flores. And again, an up and under to chase. The Saudi clears easily. Massaro is chasing a lost cause. It's very quiet here in the National Stadium, despite the fact that we've got 56,000 people. And we've now had 45 minutes. And I would have thought both coaches would have a word or two to say at half time. And there goes the whistle for the end of the first half. Savicevic has made quite an impression after being out for two months. Assad and Flores have got into the game in the last 20 minutes. But it was AC Milan who started brightly. Not any real clear openings until. Velez, there's a little bit of romance in the way they were formed. They started in subdued fashion, they came alive a little bit at the end, and they could still turn this one for Argentina and for South America. So the start of the second half of the 15th Toyota Cup, Nil-nil after the first 45 minutes, and really not too much to celebrate or to talk about. But here goes Massaro forward for Milan early on, and he's quickly picked up offside. Savicevic, key figure in the way they won the European final against Barcelona in Athens. This is very much the shape of the front and midfield, but not, of course, the back, where Beresi and Costa Curta were absent against Barcelona because they were suspended. Maldini and Galli played in the middle. Panucci played on the left-hand side, and uh, Tosotti, who just missed that one, played on the right-hand side. But largely, same faces, same players, same reputations, but AC Milan not 
putting together the same performances. And although the loss of uh, Rude Hullet, his comings and goings, have been uh, disturbing, that can't be the only reason why they've suddenly lost it. One or two of them are in the latter days of their careers, but they're still good players. Although, of course, last year they did win a lot of games by just the one goal. And those sort of results can easily go against you. And then confidence comes tumbling down a bit like Donadoni did there. And of course, also Capello said that not only had they not had the luck, but seven of the players, all of them playing here, were in the World Cup. That was hard mentally and physically for the Italians. And here's a chance for Massaro in here. Good save by Chilibre. Good save. And players claiming he was offside, but he really well wasn't. That was good stuff. Massaro coming again. Chilibre is out. Now the flag is up. But that was a brilliant save. And I think Mr. Chilibre has a word or two directed at the linesman now was it offside when that ball was struck not when he received it Chilibert thinks it was but that would have been a goal it was a great save as it happened that's had a little knock on to no avail at all tough challenge on Savicevic He's uh, short of match practice now. I will uh, test him. And uh, Capello knows that his side could have been one up. Pompey to Bacedas. Good interception by uh, Costa Curta. And confident drive across the other side of the field. He really likes pinging those balls away with his right foot. In the good days, he picks out a colleague. In the bad days, he doesn't. bench have brought 21 players 22 in fact they've only got two others first team contenders one of whom of course is uh, Van Basten as well though chasing that one with not much chance Flores is playing wide on the left hand side Assad again on the right. They don't seem to be able to link up too well together. I don't know whether that's the game plan or not. Then uh, they do get a fair bit of support from midfield, but they don't hold the ball up too well. So I don't under pressure from Basualdo. Well, Basualdo gets a footy. Basedas. So too does Donadoni. They win it back again. Savicevic, good play. Losing out, and Savicevic might get hold of this one. seen any wild extravagance from Chilavert. We might see a free kick from him at least, but that was a fantastic pass forward. Deflected away. Oh, and Costa Curta is being lent on, and they get a penalty! Unbelievable! Costa Curta felt that his shirt was being pulled, and in fact the referee from Colombia gives a penalty the other way. It looked a piece of total inelegance from both players competing in there. It was a marvellous ball from Chilabé wide on the right. Now, who is tangling with who here as Assad goes in? And according to the referee, that is a penalty, and that is a booking also for Rossi, making it five yellow cards, but also making it a golden opportunity for Belasarsfield of Argentina to take the lead here. Trotter, the captain, is going to take the kick. And scores! Belasarsfield into the lead in the early moments of the second half, and that is controversial. Well, when your luck is down, it's right down. And right out at the moment for AC Milan. The 
pushing, pulling in that penalty area as the ball came over was, I would have thought, more likely to give AC Milan a free kick. In fact, it gave Belasarsfield a penalty. Gilbert can celebrate at the other end. Who can tell who's a fault here? But according to the referee, Costa Curta was the guilty one, and Trotter puts it away. Not very well, but well enough. They're particularly good on penalties, Dallas Arsfield. They had three penalty shootouts in the Libertadores route to the final. He saved four and scored three, Chilomer. But overall, they scored 14 and missed only two. That's some record. And an opportunity like this against... Uh, by Trotter against De Rossi was... Uh, not comfortably taken, but taken at least. Just at the time when AC Milan were regretting not only Boban's miss in the first half, but the fact that uh, Massaro had a useful chance at the beginning of the second half. So, a little bit more to talk about in the second half in the first few minutes. With Roberto Trotta. The 25-year-old uh, captain of Vela Sarsfield putting the ball into the back of the net. And Argentina in the shape of the Buenos Aires club are in the lead. Well, now AC Milan have really got to do something. It's not a question of nicking a victory, as they often did in Serie A last season. Donadonian company have got to get forward in numbers. Solomayor, here comes now for what a save from Massaro by Chilabert. Could he have seen that? Massaro weathered it with his left foot. It dropped between the two of them when they all struggled for it in the year. Nicely knocked down by Savicevic and Chilabert somehow saves it. It was in fact a good knockdown by Savicevic, a brilliant save. And a poor pass. Costa Curta to Pompey here. Well, that wasn't good. Costa Curta retrieves it by Pompey. Too strong. Well, I think we've seen evidence in the second half that this is not a single man's day so far as the substitute Simone warms up. Saro had an opening there. I wouldn't say he did anything wrong, but Chilavert did everything right. Chilavert, who, with his big left foot, created the semi-opening that brought the penalty. A couple of good saves, and the game has turned against AC Milan. Maldini was penalised this time. I can understand why uh, Capello isn't smiling quite as much these days as he's been uh, three years, last three years. Free kick with Almandos creeping up, moving up towards the near post. This is the one for him. Cleared well. Kovicevic turns. Massaro races forward. Albertini's in the middle. And Gomez, defensive midfield player, cuts it out very well. side Albertini Maldini and Donadoni Mandos all over him so Trotter's goal gives Velasquez for the lead and of course they finished the first half quite brightly will give him a little extra running an extra drive what will it do to the morale of AC Milan? It's taken so many knocks this season. And perhaps that comment by the opposing coach, Capello, that he hadn't had a penalty for 62 games is very significant now they're trailing to a penalty. Massaro. 
Well, that's a rather fortunate one with Boban. Luigi misses in the middle. Barbosa's header wasn't the best, but it served the purpose. Maldini is coming into the penalty area for this. He's on the near post. Desai poses a threat. He's on the penalty spot. Out comes Chilabar. He hasn't done a lot wrong. He's a Paraguayan international, but he says he doesn't want any, anything more to do with Paraguay. He says he doesn't know what they're up to. Fairly decisive about it. And he's catching too. Given away by Bacedas. Desai. Good close up of uh, Chilevert's face, which is plastered over lots of uh, advertising hoardings. And that's a bad back pass by Costa Curta. Assad! Assad has scored an amazing goal, and AC Milan have shot themselves into the foot. What a disastrous piece of defensive play by AC Milan. What a brilliant piece of play by Omar Assad. Rossi was not a fault. The back pass was a disaster. But the tank got in there and he fired a few volleys. And Baresi and his men are down and probably out. Extraordinary goal. Costa Curtis, poor pass. Assad's in there like lightning. Quick turn. And the bleak angle, and it's in. There's confidence for you. Baresi distressed, but Costa Curta, who was penalised, and that brought the penalty, gives away the opportunity to Assad, and AC Milan shoot themselves in the foot. It's no good looking at Baresi, he didn't do it. Costa Curta at fault, and they're 2-0 down. Albertini to Donadoni. Savicevic is on the near post. And there's Chilabé, doesn't get it. And there is an opportunity for Boban to put one into the goal at least, or into the goal area more accurately. He did neither. Well, we had a dull first half. We've had a very bright opening for the start of the second half. Well, it's significant that we've got a picture here of the reserve goalkeeper. I think this is a picture of sympathy. He's only had five games and he's been with the club uh, four and a half years because Chilevet is such a hero. But not many people even know his name. Guzman it is, in fact. So Omar Assad. Leading scorer in the Libertadores Cup, leading scorer in the Argentine Championship. Here's Massara getting in on it. Everybody thought the whistle was going to go for a free kick. Not sure who to. But for some reason, Bella Sarsfield stood still. Maldini. Run away by Trotta. Substitution imminent. Marco Simone is going to come on. Boban is going to come off. So it hasn't been a particularly happy game for Zvonimir Boban. He missed that one opportunity. He was playing wide on the right, then seemed to come into midfield ball, and they lacked a bit of width on that flank. And now. Simone, not a big guy by any means, comes on to give him a little bit more power up front, a little bit more support for Masara. Pompey retrieves. Chased by Mercedes, but uh, that was out. Well, here's the bad back pass from Costa Curta. Here's Assad coming across like the tank he is. Quick turn, he doesn't dwell on it. Beautifully done. And 
often Chilavet celebrations are more extravagant than even the goal scorer. So now it's Bella Sarsfield of Argentina leading AC Milan here by two goals to nil. And, uh, here goes uh, Assad again against Costa Curta. That's a slightly better back pass this time. Pressure. Baresi Albertini loses in the end. And offside this time by Assad. So 2 0 for the Argentine side, thanks to Assad's goal, and it's 3 2 in terms of bookings. Gosualdo and Gomez, uh, Gomez gives it away. Just a better play now by Milan. Sevicevic, nicking one into the middle, here comes Chilovic. Firing one forward again at Assad, leaning into Baresi, but I don't think the Colombian referee is going to give Baresi and company anything when it comes to those physical clashes. We've seen the way he's uh, interpreted them from the challenge on Baresi by Assad in the first half. Maldini. Um, for AC Milan, who could get into the quarterfinals of the European uh, Club Championship by beating Salzburg next week. This is not a good rehearsal for that. They played some football, but they're trading by two goals to nil, and they look as if they expect things to go against them. Savicevic has come to help. He loses it as uh, Basedas sticks out of foot. Albertini chipping one forward to Massaro. Massaro knocks it back. Infringement. Bit difficult to know what uh, Capello can do here. They're not creating much in midfield. They haven't had much luck. Sotti, well judged. Not a good kick by Rossi. That's a driven back. Trotter bangs it out, and the game's lost a little bit of rhythm. Fellas lead by two goals to nil. Nice little bit of romance the way the club was formed. On a rainy day in uh, January of uh, 1910, a group of young fellas found the best place to meet. The former football club was uh, under a railway bridge, and that uh, railway station was called uh, Vélez Sarsfield. So they named the club Argentinos de Vélez Sarsfield. And that's the way it's stuck ever since, although they have progressed slightly from uh, those rainy days. Turned professional in 1931, wore white shirts in those days because they were the cheapest, picked up a rugged strip to make it blue and white. And now they face the possibility of a strike by Albertini. Dispute that the wall isn't in the right place. Savicevic and Donadoni are there. Baresi continues to protest. 
Did it goes on. Donadoni on the ball. Pushing and shoving. It's a bit untidy here, and the referee is really not decisive enough because Trotter keeps coming off the wall and he has got a yellow card and really he deserved it, but it was the Milan players who got him that yellow card. It should have been the referee who did it on his own. Still Donadoni on the ball with uh, Albertini. Waiting, I think, to have a little strike. Still some strange activity as Albertini has a go. Now it's a Chilibert to have a go. You can't see that picture, but Chilibert is uh, really blasting verbally his colleagues for that lack of discipline. Some strange activities there as uh, Basedas goes down, well wide of the goal, but it could have been uh, a problem for Chilibert. Trotter doesn't stand on ceremony in those hey, occasions. Hey. Get it out. 2-0 then. With two goals in the fifth and the twelfth minute. after what was a fairly turgid first half. Costa Curda, Tosotti. It's easy to fit the interpretation to the facts, but it looks in some ways as if uh, Milan are going through the motions. Chasing, but they don't look confident when they do have possession. Good play there, though, by Albertini. On the left-hand side is uh, Simone. The chance here for them. Still in there. The whistle had gone for a foul anyhow. And you get the impression that AC Milan are going to get absolutely nothing here. Lovely pass. Good turn by Simone. But according to the referee, that was a foul. Another big boot forward. Savicevic controlling it beautifully. And Trotter gets in there hard. Again, Simone is still coming forward. They're still in the game. If they can only pull one back. And just inches away from Masaro's boot. He's been so un That was a fine ball. Touch would have done. Almost got a touch from Trotter. But the half chances are still popping up for the Italians. And particularly for Massaro. Free kick. so dominant in that goal area. And good throw to Flores. Assad is up ahead of him. He's got support here. Flores might go alone. Asuelo keep possession well. Armandos. Asuelo again. Good play. Gomez. Wasteful. Now. Asaro offside. Unfortunate. up front for AC Milan. It's Simone again. Albertini forward for Massaro. That's not a particularly good one. And now perhaps it might be Velasas for the break. Pompey to Basedas. On the left hand side is Cardoso. But they're leading by two goals to nil. They're not in that much of a hurry. So 
Vujicic. Tackled hard, but it comes to Prostokurta. Then to Albertini. And an opening here for Savicevic, and here goes Masaro, and it's again Chilever. How does he do it? And still, the man cannot score. That's a bad challenge, but play on, he says, as Maldini gets in the middle. It's a deep cross, but it's too deep, and it's put out by Cardoso. And Chilever is keeping them in the game, no doubt about it. Lovely play from Donadoni. Great pass from Savicevic, and goalkeeper come out like, like Albertini. And here's Massaro again, no, not quite. They're in some trouble still, but the Sarsfield at the back, and it's uh, Chilever, the Paraguayan, who's keeping a minute. His side trading by two goals to nil, and really they don't deserve to. But this has been their problem all season, they cannot put the ball in the back of the net. Savicevic with the corner. Masara is over on the back post. Up he goes. Protest towards the referee. Gets nothing. And Alman Los gets an earful. Good corner. Cardozo goes forward. Good play, Pompey to Cardozo. Can he get it into the middle cleanly? Offside, surely. As Rossi gathers and tries to keep the momentum going for AC Milan. Despite the fact that there's only about 17 minutes of the game left and they're trailing by two goals to nil. And we've had news from the bench that uh, Guzman, the Substitute goalkeeper for Velez is uh, retired. He's not uh, involved. Uh, and indeed, I would have thought Chilevet's performance hasn't helped his health. He knows it's pretty hopeless, but Chilevet's going to be required here as Simone gets forward. He's let it go too far. Put it back from Massaro. Simone still with it. And the opportunity has gone. When he had the ball in the first place, he had no support. Then, when he had the support, he couldn't open up the angle. Maldini coming forward onto the near post. It's a poor corner and wasted. Well, their record AC Milan in the Serie A is uh, 1 3, drawn 4, lost 3. Not tragic. It's so, so different from everything that's gone before over the last uh, three years. And although they haven't conceded that many goals, their inability to put the ball in the back of the net has caused them enormous problems. In the early part of the season, it was Hullet who was playing well and scoring, and the rest of the side weren't playing too well. Now, some of them are playing not too badly, but still they cannot score. Albertini. Amados forward to Gomez. There wasn't really uh, a pass for him, but he won it. Assad now with a chance to run at Parisi. Now here's the chance for Basedas. It's a lovely move from Bernice. The best they've had in this match. Basedas cutting out again. And the Milan are all over the place in midfield. Basualdo. Still going. Flores. Off target, but Flores should have given it according to Basualdo. To Basualdo moving forward into a striking position. Nice pass. A little nick forward to Basualdo would have done the trick. Basedas really coming into it in midfield. He's a 21-year-old, one of three 21-year-olds in this uh, Argentine side. Flores and Assad up front are the other two. Number 
number seven uh, of Velasasu is very busy and accurate in his passes. Aldini almost got himself into trouble. Albertini swinging it wide to Savicevic. Just good. And in goes Masaro. But inevitably, Chilever is there. Chilever bangs it out because there's an injured player over that far side. Savicevic playing wider at the moment. Chilever is playing out of his skin. Looks like Basvaldo, who was hurt when he challenged with Maldini. And Canio looks as if he might be getting involved in this little affair. But what is the answer for AC Milan? They've had great success here, winning twice and losing once in the Tour of the Cup. They're trading here by uh, two goals to nil. But still, there's a bit of sportsmanship from them, and that will be appreciated. Chilevere knocked it out deliberately because of an injury, and uh, it was Milan who deliberately knocked it out again so that possession could be regained by the Argentine side. Although significantly in the danger area, his guess I have also cleared. A good one now. Savicevic's going to get there. He can't. Massaro will chase anything. Asadi knocks it back to Desai. Massaro having to hurry into that one. Asadi loses it. And now Velez can break. Good play by Flores. Seeing a little bit more skill from him. Oh, he's enjoying it. Gomez and Pompey. And a little chase there against Asadi. That for one moment looked as if it was inviting Flores and Asset to make a run at. Easy one for Sotomayor, the big number six at the back. Pompey, Casedas playing for the throw in. Now, time is definitely running out for AC Milan, and they know it. Savicevic, after two months out of the game, must be feeling a little bit weary now. 11 minutes on our clock. They trail by two goals to nil. Maldini. Simone. Simone robbed by the hard-working Gomez. Vasedas, and on the left-hand side is Pompey. Flores wants it to him. They go for Assad, it's a good ball. Knocks it back to Basualdo. Assad is in there, but he's offside. And could Assad have gone alone? Did he need to knock that one back? It's a fine ball from the left. Puffing and blowing a little bit here. He does uh, carry a bit of weight, but he claims it's a good fighting weight. 90, 90 kilos is a lot though, especially for a 21-year-old. Now, Massaro looking for Savicevic, too strong. Ten minutes left in this 15th Toyota Cup. 3-0 is the biggest score margin we've ever had. We've had it three times. We've had uh, Nacional, Montevideo win it twice, Sao Paulo win it twice, AC Milan win it twice. Doesn't look as if they're going to win it a third time, certainly. Liverpool have lost twice here. And the English clubs have played four times here, lost all of them and not scored a goal. Well, if Sarsfield win, it'll be the third Argentine victory. As a little bit of light rain falls here in the National Olympic Stadium. But it really, in many ways, it's more tears for AC Milan, who have had opportunities, haven't managed to take them, and looks as if a trophy is going to escape them here. 
Massaro. And Chilivert surely calls out. And they leave it to him. They lost a little bit of rhythm there. I think the point blank save that Chilivert made on from Massaro and then from Simone almost broke their hearts. But it didn't really take a lot of breaking. Costa Curta, Baresi, not absolutely sure what he was trying to do. Sotomayor bangs one away. Donadonio brings a bit of order and tidiness into it, and Aldini down the left hand side. Simone, like a magnet, right into the chest and arms of Chile. He looks very strong and wide at Chilabel, almost as wide as the goal himself, and that must be how AC Milan see him. And even if they got a break, surely there's very little time for them to get back into the game and force it into extra time. Flores gives up the chase. AC Milan won it in 89 when they beat the Nacional Medellin of uh, Colombia. They won it in 90 when they beat Olympia of Paraguay. They lost it last year when they were defeated in a very exciting match by Sao Paulo, Brazil. And it looks as if they're going to lose this one to Vela Sarsfield of Argentina. Well won by Trotter, who opened the scoring five minutes into the second half with that penalty. Simone gets a knock from Almandos. The referee has seen that one, and if that's a booking for Almandos, there's a problem there because right, it's a booking. I would have thought if it's no, it's a booking for Simone who retaliated, which is lucky for Almandos because he's already been booked. So it's Simone who goes into the referee's little book. Costa Curta, almost cut out, pulled out by Assad. Pushed a lot of players forward, but Velas Arsville got a lot of players back. Simone. Desperation. Basualdo, who's had a good game on the right-hand side, but was he booked? Looks as if he was. So there's a bit of card waving going on out there. It certainly makes more sense that Basualdo was booked rather than Simone because it was a free kick to AC Milan. And here's Asal de Flores in the middle. Baresi. Five minutes left. Still 2 0 to Vela Sarsfield of Buenos Aires. First angle didn't clear up why Basualdo was booked when Almandos uh, actually put the tackle in. But uh, there you go, that's life and times in Tokyo. And here's another chance as Costa Curta brings down his man, and Costa Curta is going to be sent off shortly. That's definite. He's gone. Well, we thought the bulk, the power of Asada Flores would cause them problems. And Costa Curta, who's had an unhappy game, he was penalised, it gave the shot of the penalty. The back pass gave Assad the second goal. Now, Costa Curta has got. A sorry way for the game to end for AC Milan. But the rules are quite clear. The player is holding back the opponent on his way directly to goal and he had to go despite the fact that he's already got one yellow card anyhow that was a direct red card and Costa Goethe 
has gone, and we're also going to have a uh, substitution. But not before the free kick is taken. Yes, Savicevic is coming off, and Panucci is coming on. He's got less than five minutes to play. Oh, here's a good one. Well, it would have been if he could hit the target. Trotter with the left foot, he really prefers the right foot. But it's all going very, very nicely for Bellas Sarsfield, and it's turning into something of a disaster for AC Milan. Billy costa Curta bringing down Omar Assad. It was uh, an automatic red card, despite the fact that he got a yellow over. And very little time left. Mercedes. Well, how would you analyze this game? The confidence of AC Milan was extremely brittle. Very few actions, decisions by the referee have gone for them. The penalty, I thought, was controversial. The second goal, unnecessary. But even great players and great teams, these things happen. Panucci banging that away. Sotomayor hit it clear, but only to Albertini. Three minutes left, 2 0, and AC Milan down to 10 men. In goes Massaro. Out comes Chilabed. It's all over again. It was a good cross. Nothing much was going to happen. But Savicevic, I think, has uh, proved that he could be valuable when it comes to next Wednesday night in Vienna. But I think they can do with uh, Chilabed in their defence. Of course, there are a couple of trophies up for grabs here. Not only the Toyota Cup, but the Intercontinental Trophy and a player of the match. Who do you think it will be? Is uh, Pompey with a shot, which tested Rossi a little bit. I would have thought it might well be uh, Assad, who's uh, caused lots of problems, scored a vital second goal. And there are 316 Japanese journalists here, 30 foreign press, and the tradition in Japan is you normally vote for a goal scorer. Although for me, Basedas has had uh, a fine game. Chilabed has been a totally different class. Driven into the side netting by Donadoni, he looks anguished. But if you could have caught the face and the gesture of Chilabert, who doesn't look as if there was any more danger than in a practice game match, as that ball went into the side. With less than a minute of normal time left, there's no way out now for the 10 men of AC Milan. It's going to be all of Velez in the closing seconds. Basedas, fine, neat game in midfield. Pompey's come into it more after a quiet first 20 minutes. Flores, too, has had a good second half. Not a particularly good one there from Flores, but he's chasing hard. I feel the win bonus in his pocket already. It's not inconsiderable either quarter of a million to each club for competing and $25,000 for winning. Basedas keeping possession neatly, brought down by Albertini, play on. Desai taking the mickey a little bit out of the European champions here. Sotomayor leans on his man as we go into time added on. We're seconds away from putting AC Milan out of their misery. Nothing has gone right for them this season, wherever they played, and nothing's gone right for them here. Desai pumps one forward, Maldini's in there. Armandos, who's had a hard, aggressive game at right back. Basualdo and Flores. Basualdo still keeps going. Flores going for the killer. Flores doesn't like his left foot. He should have had a go. Paul 
on pay. Still keeps going. And a minute of time added on here. Pompey drums one forward and really Milan only want to hear one thing now and that's the final whistle and then the Argentine celebrations will begin and Milan will be on their way within a few hours back home and warming up they hope for the one against uh, Salzburg which might keep them in the European Clubs Championship and away goes Assad on vain pursuit Milan have had more chances. Chilever has kept them out. And Velez are going to win this 15th Toyota Cup. Pompey, Cardoso. And there is the final whistle. Velez Sarsfield of Argentina have won the 15th Toyota Cup. Sadness for. AC Milan, nothing went right for them, for Baresi and company, the sad story goes on. The jubilation for Velez of Argentina, they are competing here for the first time, their first Libertadores win, and really they snatched it in some style in the second half. They got a break when uh, Costa Cota was penalised uh, after five minutes in the second half and Trotter banged in the penalty. Then uh, Costa Cota's bad back pass led in uh, Assad for a, game, a goal of some opportunism and quality. And then to rub it in, they had uh, Costa Cota sent off. They finished with ten men and they finished in some disarray, to be fair. But when you look at the number of chances and the action, particularly in the second half, Chilabert, the Paraguayan goalkeeper, played like a man possessed. He was in the right position every time when Massaro, when Simone, when Albertini, in some way, put the balance right. So, not surprisingly then, Omar Assad is the player of the tournament. The trophies, the Toyota Cup and the Intercontinental Cup, are presented by Nicolas Leos, the president of Conmebol, to... Velez Sarsfield of Argentina. The Intercontinental Trophy has been going for a long time. It uh, was scarred by a lot of uh, bad play and bad temper encounters. And it was brought here to Tokyo to improve it on neutral territory. We've certainly done that.